it is very incomprehensible how a local TV station, a national TV station, could allow a foreigner, more so an American foreigner, to come into this country to embarrass its citizens, to embarrass our people, to be critical of the way we speak, to be critical of the way we look, to be critical of our culture. And if that is what a local TV station wants to propagate on our population, I say heaven help us. I don't need any advice from any comedian fool who doesn't know anything about this country to tell me what files to release and what not to release. That is none of his business. I take no instructions from him. And worse yet, I don't take any instructions from an American at this point in time. The point I have to make to you, however, is however much we may disagree as a people, however much we may fight among ourselves, we do it among ourselves within our borders. But against outsiders, we have to stand united. We have to stand together as a people. I was, I was, I recall when Patrick Manning was Prime Minister. I was ultra critical of Patrick Manning. In this country, I never once did I go outside this country. I was ever critical of Manning or his government. Because I believe that as a country, we must stand firm at all times. And there was no bad mountain of our country outside. But if the local TV, the local TV station feels it's proper to bring an outsider here to embarrass us, then all I can say is one more, one more time is heaven help us. But as these things unfold in the weeks and months ahead, I expect us possibly to go even lower than that, all in an attempt to get two or three dollars from, our, from, from advertising, all in an attempt to sell our nation short. I, at this point in time, will say much more on this, much more on this at our cottage meeting, a meeting that begins tomorrow at Lupino, sorry, where you shall hear much more about this and other matters. I thank you.